Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a really cool one for you guys. iBlazon actually went ahead and sent us out some cases free for review for the iPhone 11 Max. So we've got a dummy model here also sent by them. So big thank you to them. They sent out iBlazon cases as well as Subcase. These are two different companies, they said. So I'm going to uh, honor their wish and review these separately. So we are going to pull these out of the way here. And today we are going to review the iBlazon cases. Now we will review the subcase in the next video. So if you want to see that, uh, go ahead and watch that after this one. So let's get right into this guys. This has to be at least five or $600 worth of cases that they sent out. So I am definitely thankful to them for sending all of these out. I mean, there are so many different ones for us to take a look at. And this is going to give you guys a great opportunity to see all the different designs that they have to offer. Here's the first one we're going to open up. Uh, I will link all of these down below so you guys can check them out yourselves. Um, come in pretty simple packaging here. Uh, let's just pull this out and look in there. Nothing left. So we'll set that off to the side. So it actually comes with a, an installation guide as well as a thank you card. So that is nice to have. And then here is the case itself. Let's take it out of its little protection here. And wow. I noticed in their email they sent to me, uh, they did mention that these can withstand a 20 foot drop. So I definitely believe it based on the ruggedness of this case. Let's peel some of this plastic off uh, and see what we've got here. Looks like here is the spot that you want to use to uh, separate this. Now they said to use a coin or something, but I'm going to use one of these spudger tools that I have so many of uh, for repairing iPhones. Uh, we'll see if I can actually get this here. Okay, that was kind of tough to get, but looks like we finally got it. And once we do, we can just pull this uh, completely away here. It opens right up. Uh, so it says protective film to be peeled off. They really covered these things in protective film, but luckily this stuff is not very difficult to get off. All right, so let's put this iPhone 11 Max into this case. Uh, I think it'll be easier if we do the front first and stick it in like so. Well, maybe not. There we go. That is not bad at all. So you guys can see the cutouts are perfect which is actually pretty surprising because this is just a dummy unit. It does fit absolutely flawlessly here, and it actually looks really good for being such a rugged case. I mean, wow. Usually I'm not a fan of super rugged cases, but this actually looks really good. So very well done, guys. This looks great. Even got a little protection port here uh, for the mute switch, which is cool. Dropping this from 20 feet, definitely believable uh, because this thing just feels so solid. So if you dig this blue color, uh, this is definitely a nice rugged case. It does have a built-in screen protector, so to speak. Now this isn't going to be um, quite as nice to feel as like a glass screen protector, but it is an extra layer of protection that comes built in. So can't complain too much about that. Let's open up another one and see what we've got. This one is uh, Cosmo. So this one's a little bit different here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, wow. This looks uh, much different than the other one. Again, another thank you note, which is awesome. An installation guide as well. And here this one is. Wow, this one looks completely different, really unique actually. It kind of looks like a mixture of like marble and like a liquid of some sort. So really cool looking case. Let's peel off all of this plastic and see what we've got. I do appreciate that they really do uh, package these pretty well. And here it is completely uh, taken apart. Put it in here and see what we've got. So let's stick this case onto this phone or should I say the phone into the case? There we go. Looking pretty snazzy here, actually. It's got this nice light blue finish around the top and then on the back, uh, it's just got this really pleasant blue on the back. I think this looks really good. Great thing about the uh, iPhone 11 is that you will easily be able to distinguish it from the other phones because of that square cutout camera, unless of course the Pixel phone also copies that, but um, wow, this looks really good. And these are not super bulky. I mean, the iPhone 11 Max is a big phone. I would never use the Max size. However, these cases do not feel that bulky. And if these are really 20 foot drop rated, that's a good deal. So I'm gonna try to speed through some of the other cases here just so this video is not super long, but I want you guys to see all of the different designs that iBlazon offers. All right, so next up here, we have the Aries in black. So let's take a look at this one here. Yep, just as I expected, this is just like the first blue one, except this is completely blacked out. I feel like this is the most neutral color that a lot of people will go for, um, especially if you're just looking for a simple case to put onto your phone. So let's just crack it open like so. I know this isn't the proper way to do it with a coin, but it definitely works. And uh, let's just take this out, take this off. I'm becoming a pro with this, guys. All right, so iPhone into here and then into the case. Nice and snug fit. I feel like the other cases I didn't press down all the way, all the way around, but whatever, you guys get the idea. There it is, completely blacked out look 
with a slight gray edge here looks really slick. I imagine if you got the black iPhone, this is the one to go for. Even this white looks really good too, though. Um, yeah, wow. I really like this one. So far, this is my favorite neutral color. It's just a little bit more subtle than the blue color that we showed off before. All right, guys, next up we have the Halo in black. So let's take a look at this one. Pop this sucker open. Nothing else in the box. You can toss it. And let's see what we've got. This one just comes with a thank you. No actual instruction kit, which means this must be a one piece case. Yep. Wow. Okay. This is going to be the one a lot of people go for. I may have been mistaken on the last one, but if you're looking for a minimalist case, wow, this one has it done. Now it does have a slightly smoked color, hence the black name, uh, Halo Black, but this thing just looks really slick. Let's put this thing on the phone and see how it does. Easy fit right there. Every port cutout looks good. This is a really slick case, guys. If you're looking for just a one piece minimalist case, you can't go wrong with this. I'm I mean, this just looks good from all angles here. Front, you can hardly notice it. It barely has a lip, but it does have enough to keep it off of like the table and stuff. And on the back here, it's just got this really unique design that accentuates the camera, but also makes the phone look a little bit smaller, at least in my opinion. Very minimal branding right here. Uh, this is a slick case overall. I think with the black phone, it would look just as good. But yeah, this is a winner for sure. Again, this one is called the Halo and it is in the black color. All right, next up, what do we have? We have the Halo in clear. So let's take a look at that one. I imagine it will be very similar to the last. Thank you card. And here it is. Yep, just as expected. Just like the other one, except this one is completely clear. And let me put this up to the light and see if there's any yellowing. Because that's always my issue with these is that they get a little bit of a yellow tinge. This one has a slight bit, but honestly, it is almost unnoticeable. So this is a very good one overall. Let's put this on the phone. Wow, you really almost cannot tell that there's a case on this. Besides this little line here, which I'm not a huge fan of, um, but it does give it a little bit of a distinguishing factor to let you know that, hey, there's a case on this thing. Um, this looks really slick. Now looking at it from the front, you can tell that there is a case uh, just by the lip around it. But on the back, this looks really good, guys. If you're looking for a clear case, check this one out. Again, it is called the Halo Clear. All right, guys, let's pick one from this pile. What do we have? The Cosmo SP Ameth, I guess Amethyst. Let's take a look at this one and get this out of the way from the last one and let's see what we've got here guys wow okay that is very purple again coming with the installation guide um let's take this plastic off let's undress this case and wow that has a crazy 3d effect guys i don't know if that's picking it up on camera but wow all right i'm actually pretty psyched to see this one on the phone simply because of how trippy that is. Right, let's open her up, take off this last bit of plastic here. First impressions of this case are this thing pops. This is a metallic purple all the way around the front. And then on the back, you have this 3D effect uh, simply because of how the paint is layered. And that just looks so cool. This is my favorite girly one so far. So let me just put this, oh wait, nope. Don't do it like that. It's easier to do the front first. So just snap it in like that. I don't know why that felt like it wasn't all the way in, but it is. That's what she said. This one seems really tight for some reason. That's what he said. And there we go. Okay. Wow. Look at that. That looks really, really cool, guys. If you're a girl and you want to stand out, definitely check this one out for sure. Uh, if you're a guy, you could rock it too. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but color looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, it just shimmers in the light. Incredibly unique. I mean, I don't think I've seen another iPhone case quite like this. It just looks really good. I don't have much more to say about this one, guys, but this one gets a thumbs up from me. All right, guys, we're getting down to the wire here. What do we have? The Cosmo in marble. So let's take a look at this one. Wow, this one also looks really good. I can already tell this is going to be a fan favorite as well. Let's peel off the plastic as usual. Wow, this one is a lot more subtle than the last one. Um, maybe a little bit classier, but it just gives off this super cool feminine vibe. And guys, if you're looking to get your girlfriend a case, uh, this might be the one to get, especially if she likes pink. These Cosmo series look really good for some reason. I am just a fan of these cases. So let me put this one onto the phone. There we go. And wow, yes, just as I thought, much more subtle vibes here uh, from this one with this metallic pink paint going all the way around the rim there. Um, does look really good. And then on the back, you've got a slightly less 3D effect than the other one, but it definitely is still there. You can still see it in person. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it looks kind of 3D because this paint is a little bit raised from this uh, other design. I'm thinking this is like a printed insert and then they actually painted these lines. I'm not for sure on that, but that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, must be painted on the inside. Cutouts and everything are all good to go. Thing is pretty minimal, 
right there and right there. But this looks really good. I don't know if I've ever done so many case unboxings where I liked every single case, but iBlazon has outdone themselves here. These all look really good at least so far. We've still got two more to check out. All right, guys, just two more to get through here. This is the Cosmo in green. So if you are a fan of green, you might like this one, but I have not looked at this one yet. And whoa, again, we've got the installation stickers and everything just like all the rest. Let's peel this uh, protective film off. And first, before we put this on the phone, let's just admire these colors. Um, kind of a greenish bluish, uh, definitely more green, but slight hints of blue in there uh, on this case on the back. Wow, this is uh, very reflective as you guys can see this has a crazy 3d effect especially with these uh, cube like designs once you see that you can't unsee it it's like this is a big cube and a smaller cube inside of it very trippy but looks really good so let's see it on the phone and see if it looks as good or better wow guys i don't know what to say this is crazy i don't know how iBlazon makes such crazy designs that actually look good but this case just looks really cool and the 3d effect is super crazy on this one i don't think the camera does it justice but if you like green, this is the case to go for. Wow, guys, I think taking these cases on and off has cut my thumb a little bit. All right, last but not least, we have the Aries in green. So I think we all know what this one's gonna look like based on what we've seen so far, but here it is with the same documents and such. Now this green definitely looks a little bit different. Um, and on the back, it also has uh, kind of a two-tone green on so far, not as big of a fan of this color, uh, but let's take this out. Of course, you guys know I give it to you straight. I do not sugarcoat things. I have genuinely really liked all of these cases so far, but this one, not really feeling the green color, but green's not really my thing. So there we go. That's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, this green is pretty dark and not super in your face. Now the back here is what I don't like. I don't really like this two-tone green color uh, overall, but that's just a personal preference. If you like green, this is probably going to be the one to go for, or if you just, something that kind of gives off the foresty vibes, maybe you're a camper or you like to go hunting and you don't want your phone to stand out like a sore thumb, get the black iPhone with this case and it would look really slick. All right, guys, so those are all of the cases from iBlaze in here. Now, remember, we are doing an unboxing of these sub cases as well. So stay tuned to the channel. That video will be coming up after this one. Uh, if you want to see some of these, I mean, I haven't opened these up yet, but some of these are really thick. So you guys can see these things are legit. So thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, jump over to the sub case video next if you want to see more awesome iPhone 11 cases. That's all I got for this one, guys. Don't forget to drop it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Big shout out to iBlazon for sending these out free for review.